Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Sunday's storm produced a tornado in Pope County, just north of Dover, in a pretty rural area. Winds damaged buildings and knocked down trees and power lines. Just under 1,000 customers started the day without electricity in the county. The Martin Township Volunteer Fire Department actually had their garage doors blown off. And at, at least one home was destroyed in this storm. The fire chief says they've had reports of injuries with at least one person seriously injuries injured, but thankfully no deaths have been reported so far. Now, before we get to other stories, let's check in with meteorologist Zach Scott to make sure we're clear with this weather. Hey, Zach. Hey, Joe. Yeah, that's right. We are clear, but this is a perfect sign of, hey, we're getting to that season spring right around the corner. And really for the next three months, we could have our uh, rounds of in and out of severe weather, certainly possibilities setting up, but we're quiet right now, not tracking any more severe weather here locally or, or and not only for today, but really the next several days. We are looking a lot quieter in terms of uh, thunderstorm activity. All right, we've got temperatures just, uh, today going to be a little cooler, lower 40s on the backside of that system, dragging in much colder air, lower 40s to mid 40s, northwestern Arkansas, mid to upper 40s down towards the River Valley. A chilly night heading into our Tuesday morning. We'll start out likely with the 20s. We are tracking a change for some showers as we get into Tuesday as well, mainly during the afternoon hours. Quick moving system, better rain chances central Arkansas to south Arkansas. We're going to be on the northwest side of it, but we'll likely be tracking at least a few scattered showers down towards the River Valley. We'll continue to keep our eyes on that. Looking a lot colder, unfortunately, as we get into next Friday. Thanks so much, Sachs. Well, one person is dead after a crash on Interstate 40 between Ozark and Coal Hill. Early this morning, a semi and several other vehicles were involved in this crash. The driver of the semi died. The recovery process started around 1 o'clock this morning in rainy conditions where crews pulled the semi from a creek. The interstate was shut down for several hours as police worked to clear the crash. I-40 East, though, is now open to drivers. And a happy story here, 12-year-old Bentonville student Aditi Shasta Adira has won this year's Arkansas State Spelling Bee. Now, she won on Saturday after correctly spelling the word strophic. She's a Haas Hall of Bentonville student and will move on to the Scripps National Spelling Bee in June. She'll go to Washington, D.C. to compete against 200 regional champions from around the country. Congratulations to her. All right, thank you for joining us here for 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Catch up with us again tomorrow right here.